Good day, people. Today we're gonna subtract expression. Lita's family wants to put a tile border around their swimming pool. What expression represents the total area of the border? So we're trying to find the area of just this border right here. All right, as we can see, we have two rectangles. We have a larger rectangle with a dimension of 14 plus 2 plus 2 so that's 18 so that would be the width and the length would have been 2x plus 14 plus 2 plus 2 so that's 2x plus 18 so that would have been the dimensions of the larger rectangle then we have a smaller rectangle we see the dimensions of the small rectangle. The width would be 14 and the length would be 2x plus 14. So in order to find the area of just the border, we'll have to subtract the area of this large circle from... All right, so we subtract the area of this small circle from the area of this large circle. So let us proceed. So that's 18 times 2x plus 18 minus 14 times 2x plus 14. Eighteen times 2x would give me 36x. Eighteen times 18 gives me 324. All right, so negative 14 times 2x would give me negative 28x negative 14 times 14 would give me negative 196 now i can identify my like terms now i can use the commutative property to reorder my terms so 36x minus 28x plus 324 minus 196 when I combine these two terms, I get 8x plus 128. So this would be our answer for the area of the border around this pool. Thank you for watching. Subtract the expression 5j minus 2q plus 2 fifths minus 4 minus 3j minus a half q all right first i'm going to put my invisible ones so you can see them then i'm going to use a distributive property to expand these parentheses all right 5 times 5j give me 5j 5 times negative 2q give me negative 2q 1 times 2 fifth give me 2 fifth negative 1 times 4 give me negative 4 Negative 1 times negative 3 give me positive 3j. Negative 1 times negative a half q give me positive a half q. From there, I can identify my like terms. Put a box around all the terms with q. Please remember to include the sign that is before it. And I'll put a triangle over my constants. Now, I can use the commutative property to reorder my terms. So 5j plus 3j minus 2q plus half q plus 2 fifths minus 4. Combining these two like terms, 5j plus 3j give me 8j. Negative 2q plus half q give me negative 1 and a half q. 2 fifths minus 4 gives me minus 3 and 3 fifth. So this would be our simplified expression after we have subtracted. So let us check our, check our answer. So we're going to let j equal 1 and q equal 0. So substituting in the first expression, we see that 5 times 1 will give us 5, minus 2 times 0 give us 0, plus 2 fifth minus 
4 minus 3 times 1 give me 3 minus 0. When we check that, we get 22 over 5. All right, let's substitute the same j for 1 and q equals 0 in our answer. We see that it's 8 times 1 give us 8 minus 1 and a half times 0 give us 0 minus 3 and 3 fifths. When we subtract 8 minus 3 and 3 fifths, we see that we get 22 over 5. So we see that both answers are the same, so we know that our expressions are equivalent, so our answer is correct. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.